Comrade Brown and uh, also any other directors and officials from the ZANU-PF uh, headquarters who might be around. First of all, to welcome you, members of the press, and to thank you for responding to our invitation for a press briefing. You will recall that um, we had members of parliament who resigned, who resigned not long ago. And in particular, the member of parliament for Harare East and the member of parliament from Mount, for Mount Pleasant. They resigned in solidarity with uh, Nelson Chamisa, and therefore these constituencies were then declared vacant. And a proclamation was issued by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, who is also the first secretary of the ruling party, ZANU-PF, that there will be elections on the 26th of April this year to fill these vacancies. And therefore, it's normal procedure as a party that we invite party cadres who are willing and keen to participate in these constituencies to express their desire by applying to the Arare province and submitting their detailed curriculum vitae to Arare province. And we invite those who meet the criteria set by the party as guidelines to our internal elections. So applications were made and CVs were submitted to the Harare provincial leadership. <clears throat> and the provincial leadership sitting as a provincial elections directorate went through these CVs and these applications. The role of the Provincial Elections Directorate is really to consider these applications and make comments and recommendations. They have no right to reject any application, but they have an obligation to look at these applications peruse the CVs and ensure that they meet the criteria set by the party. And then they indicate their comments as well as recommendations. So the Provincial Elections Directorate for Harare set last Sunday and submitted the same papers with their comments and recommendations to the Commissariat Department here at ZANU-PF headquarters. The papers, the CVs, the applications <coughs> were then submitted to our security department for vetting. After vetting, the security department in turn 
makes its remarks and also comments as a result of the vetting exercise. These comments, recommendations, both from the province as well as the security department were then submitted to the National Elections Directorate, which I chair, to go through these recommendations, through these comments, and in turn, make comments and recommendations to the Presidium. The National Elections Directorate went through that exercise and their recommendations were then submitted to the Presidium. By the way, the party <coughs> has set Saturday the 23rd of March as the date for primary elections. Primary elections are held when there is more than one successful aspiring candidates. Therefore, I'm pleased to announce that His Excellency the President and First Secretary of the ruling party ZANU-PF, Comrade Dr. E. Jim Nangagwa, has approved the participation of the following aspiring candidates in the ZANU-PF primary elections to be held next weekend on Saturday, the 24th of March. I'll start with Harare East constituency. Harare East constituency, we do have two successful aspiring candidates. And these are Comrade Lynette Machawa, female, and Comrade Kiven Mutimba Nyoka, male. Mount Pleasant constituency, <coughs> we have four successful aspiring candidates. <coughs> we have Comrade George Mashavave, male. We have Comrade Jason Pasadi, Male, we have Comrade Chris Chuchu, male, and Comrade Beadle Guasira, male. As you are aware, we use our cell registers as our voters role. So for any party cadre to be able to vote, you need to be in a cell register as well as being a registered voter with Zach. And because in the past we have held, we have had complaints 
regarding the authenticity and credibility of some of these cell registers. Therefore, we cannot afford to use the same registers when we go for primary elections this coming weekend. Otherwise, we open this whole exercise to a number of complaints. Hence, we have embarked on a blitz exercise to ensure that we start the restructuring exercise establishing cells in these two constituencies under Harare province, Harare East and Mount Pleasant. There is an exercise which started yesterday in earnest where there are teams going around in these two constituencies carrying out an exercise to establish to establish cells and also to verify the membership of these cells. So that once we have authentic, credible and verified cell registers, these then constitute our voters role, which will be used for the primary elections come next Saturday. Therefore, I would like to urge our membership to ensure that they participate in this cell verification exercise so that they are eligible to vote in the coming primary elections. Therefore, I would want to urge our membership, as I said earlier on, to participate in this verification exercise and also to come in their numbers on the day of voting so that they exercise their right by choosing a candidate of their own choice. The party is on record that we do not impose candidates. And we encourage all our members to come forward if they so willing and participate so that we can exercise our right by voting for those people of our own choice. I would also want to thank, to thank Arare province, which is coordinating this blitz exercise on the building up of cells together with the commissariat department from head office. I believe we will have very smooth primary elections so that once primary elections are behind us, we then work as a team together to campaign for the successful candidates as we prepare for the by-elections come 26th April. I would also want to take this opportunity to thank our members in Narare and Chinoy 
in the fact that ZANU PF came victorious in the recent local authority by elections in Harare as well as Chinoy. These seats previously belonged to the opposition and are now back to the ruling party, which is really a demonstration that the party is getting stronger and stronger as we go through each and every by-election, whether in the rural areas or in the urban areas. ZANU-PF continues to win, coming victorious, which is a demonstration that this is the party for the moment and also the party for the future. So I would like to wish the candidates successful campaigns and that we will all, after Saturday, come out victorious and ready to campaign for the successful candidates who will be representing the ruling party ZANU-PF. So once again, I want to thank you for coming and for your participation to this briefing and hope to see you again as we continue to update you on the goings on in terms of our mobilization and elections. Thank you very much.